Hi, this is Christine Abella from Gecko Gully Websites. Just want to give you an alternative way to do attributes. Attributes is where you can provide um, more than one option or variation. There's lots of different words you can use to say different um, things that the customer might choose when they're wanting to buy a product from you using WooCommerce. The first thing, um, I've already made another video which showed one way to do it, but this is an alternative way. Um, I'm assuming you've watched the other video, so if you're not understanding at all what I'm talking about, please go and see the other video. I'll put a link to the other video in YouTube below this one. So first of all, you need to set up your attributes. So you go under products, you'll find attributes in the menu. And you can say on this particular site, I've got um, two attributes set up. I've got size and machine type. So if you wanted to do another one, for example, you can just go color as an example, and you can click add attribute. Other things that you can do here, um, most of it you won't worry about, but this one, you can choose for it to be ordered by name or by term ID, which is an abbreviated version of the name if you like, um, or by custom ordering. With custom ordering it means that you can move the um, attributes around and they will appear in that order. So once you've put in the attribute name, you then need to put in some actual values that that can have. So let's go and have a look at some that I've got in here. Well, if you want to change later, you can go and click on edit. You can change any of these things you've just set up. So let's look at the terms. In this case, for size, we've got one and a half inches, one inch, 10 inches, 10 foot, 11 inches, and 12 inches, and so on. If we want to um, put a new one in, well, it's really simple. We just put a new one in here, so we can go 15 inches, for example. Um, we can have these things with um, hierarchy if we want to, and we can click on add new size, and that will add it to this list. So you know when I was telling you about with the custom ordering, if you want to move the order of them around, you simply move the mouse over one that you've already done, and then I'm holding down my left mouse button, and then I can drag it up, and I can release my left mouse button, and then it will be in that order. So if you've chosen the um, custom ordering, then that's how you can change the order. Now how do you actually use these things? Well let's go back to products, which I've got that on the screen, and I found a product which I entered earlier, which I entered as a simple product, not a variable product. So let's go in here, and we're going to click on edit. The difference between a simple product and a variable product is that a simple product, there's only one one thing available is just that product. But um, with a variable product, you can have different options. And in this case, we want to add different sizes. So let's go down here, and we can change it from being a simple product to being a variable product. Oops, I just forgot something. Let me just check what the price is, $16. Sorry, there we go, variable product. Then we'll go to attributes. And we'll go to here and we'll say we want to choose size. Now the method that I showed you in the other video, we used this custom product attribute and we hadn't set up attributes in here before. But let's just go to size and click add. And now what we can do here is we can start putting in some of the attributes that we had entered in the attribute screen earlier. If we want to go with all of them, we can just click select all and all of the different sizes would be available. To get rid of them all, we go like that. Now in this case, we want seven inches. So when we start typing in that seven, it'll give us all of the attributes that have a seven in them, okay? So we go seven, I hit enter key. We've got um, 10 inches, I hit the enter key and we've got 12 inches, and I hit the enter key. So now we've got those three other different sizes that this thing's available in. Then we click on this, and we click on this, and we click Save Attributes. Now you can see some little wheels spinning there. We have to wait for those little wheels to finish spinning, and then we can go to Variations, and again we wait for the little wheels to stop spinning. Then the rest of the procedure is pretty much the same as the previous video, but I'll show you that anyway. We go to Link All Variations, click OK, Wait for the wheels to stop spinning, say OK. And again, we wait for the wheels. <laughs> There's a lot of waiting for wheels. Now, in this case, we haven't yet got the price in here. So what I want to do is go down and put the prices in. Now, in this particular product, um, the price is different for each of the different sizes. If the price was the same for all of them, I would go here, click prices, 
click go and then it would ask me what the price is and that price would be applied to all of the different variations. Um, there are other things here as you can see that we can change for all the variations. But for now let's just go through and change the prices. It was $16 for the smallest one and then the next one which was 12 inches was $20. Oops, hang on, I've got it thrown the wrong way. So the 7 is the first one. So you've got to, we've got to look at that to see which size we're actually changing. So the 7 is 16. The 12, the 10 is 20. And the 12 is $24. Okay. Then of course we can change other attribute, you know, other things about that particular size as we're doing them if we want to. But let's just go back up here and click update and that's all there is to it. And then when you have a look at this product on the website, which isn't properly set up yet, but I'll see if I can show you, um, you should be able to see that it gives you a drop down box with the different um, sizes available to you. And here it is, as I said, this website's still being set up, so we've got choose an option. We choose the $10, it gives us the price, sorry, the 10 inches, 12 inches, and you can see up here the price is from $16. Um, another thing I can do if you're interested is if you're selling things by colour, we can actually have a, like a colour chart set up here for you. Um, just get back to me if that's something that you think you want to do. Okay, so yeah.